Hi, I'm Nick Rago, Stable Value Director at Prudential. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the credit quality of a stable value fund. When evaluating a stable value fund, we usually look only at the crediting rate. While a competitive rate is attractive, it's important to understand how the provider is getting to that rate. This is where the importance of the underlying portfolio comes into play. There are plenty of ways for a stable value fund to generate yield. The typical drivers are duration and quality. Longer duration or lower quality will typically generate more yield. If a stable value fund is intended to provide a reasonable, stable yield, it doesn't need to deliver an extremely high rate. This is especially true in a low rate environment. If the rate seems too good to be true, it probably is. Let's say the fund invests in longer duration securities. When interest rates rise, these holdings will be impacted much more than shorter duration holdings. The same goes for credit quality of the holdings. Lower quality is an indication of greater risk. Changing economic conditions could sink these holdings much faster than high quality holdings not the right move for something we call stable value. To provide yields that are superior to money markets, there should be some risk, but in line with intermediate term returns. That's what clients are paying for in a stable value fund. Taking undue risk should be avoided. If you have more questions about how stable value can help complete your investment picture, please reach out and let's talk.